to being great They hate you when you're winning, but they love it when you break This the price of being great This the price of being great Oh, this the price of being great They hate you when you're winning, but they love it when you break This the price of being great uh. Hey everybody, um I told y'all this was about to come, and I, I'm gonna read the fuck out of this sorry ass country we call America, and I'm gonna read the shit out of several situations. But the main motherfucking topic of my anger is um this NFL new policy for players that kneel and everything. I'm not even gonna go into what that all entails. I'm just gonna go into the main picture here. The fact that you are trying to put chains and muzzles on free black men, I have a motherfucking problem with. And so should you and every motherfucking body else in this world who is a human motherfucking being. Who is pro-civil rights movement, who is pro-black who is pro-human, who is pro-freedom. We call ourselves the nation of the free motherfuckers. Do we not? And first of all, where is the Supreme Court to stand up and say, you know, Miss Ruth Gators Ginsburg, whatever the fuck your name is, honey, where are y'all hoes to sit up, Miss Sotomayor, whatever the fuck your name is, honey, to stand up, honey, and say, you are violating the constitutional rights of the motherfucking people of America, honey. This is a clear violation. This is against the motherfucking law. What the fuck in the fact that this is being allowed? First of all, I never thought I'd even be doing a video talking about the NFL. I'm going to be real with you. I don't do motherfucking sports. But one thing that kills my motherfucking spirit is when I see... Everything that our ancestors fought for. Everything that Colin Kaepernick just motherfucking fought for. He lost his job. Now he is uh, casted out, honey, into the wilderness, into the cold, girl. But he is still standing strong. But at the same time, when he stood up, he is of a mixed breed too, girl. White and black. And he was adopted by crackers. Let's be honest here. He stood up. And then what did all of you do? You failed him. You are seriously going to allow the NFL, first of all, NFL scouters and whatnot, y'all only come to the inner cities and the hood and the projects to recruit um, athletic talent. You don't come for any other reasons. You come to snatch up our, our young men and sell them this dream with these cheap ass 360 deal contracts and you fuck them over in the long run. Okay. Only a select few are welcome to that round table with Steph Curry and the girls. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Um, <laughs> that's basketball. My bad. Y'all know what the fuck I talk about, bitch. Okay, high profile players. That's what the fuck I meant. Now, you see why I don't do NFL um, motherfucking talks and videos and shit. But anyway, I'm just in the... In, in, in what we're going through right now with Roseanne, with uh, Bill Cosby, um, with Morgan Freeman, all of these motherfuckers are just, it's smokescreen. In media, they have the true power. They, that is a very real situation. That is not conspiracy theory. No, bitch. That is true motherfucking tea. The media threw up all these things, you know, and then the volcano's still fucking shit up over there in Hawaii. And they're throwing out these things, hiding the fact that the NFL... The National Football League of America, bitch. Y'all have decided to put change, social constraints on free black men. That let's be honest here, bitches. If your all your players were white, football wouldn't be as great as it is today. So, and which also takes me to my other anger. As football players, knowing that you hold the majority, why the fuck are y'all not walking out, bitch? Colin Kaepernick did all of this for no reason for y'all to shit on what he was talking about. The fact that it killed me. I, I wrote this the other day. The fact that these motherfuckers 
have the audacity to put muzzles and chains on free black men, you can come up with a motherfucking policy for that, right? Because that was such a problem. But you say you you guys don't have political ties. Girl, buy all the money y'all donated to Donald Trump. Hmm, obviously, because he had a problem with it. So y'all made it a deal to sit down and have a discussion to talk about policy and procedure to muzzle and chain free black men. You are violating their constitutional rights, motherfucker. And I'm surprised the Supreme Court, Miss Ruth Gator Ginsburg, whatever the fuck her name is, hasn't stood her ass up and said, you know what? This is a clear violation of the motherfucking Constitution. The fact that y'all can have these conversations and come up with solutions to, again, I'm going to keep saying it to be descriptive as possible until we get this. You are chaining and muzzling free black men. You are assuming your white power, your white wealth, wealthy power, and dangling these contracts that y'all done force these boys to sign in their faces. We own you. But you can't protect our kids in their own backyards or in their schools or in their own neighborhoods from crazy motherfuckers with AR-15s and shit. But you can come up with solutions to chain and muzzle our free black men. America, your priorities are all the way fucked up. Honey, where is Mother Liberty when you need her to rain holy hell down on these social injustices that are still plaguing us in 20 motherfucking 18? Bitch, we are light years ahead of... <sighs> I don't understand why we're still here. Hey, I guess, honey, these motherfuckers... Walk out, y'all. Please walk out. Let You know what? Better yet, wait till the Super Bowl. Let these crackers invest all of this money, all this hard money into these ads and these campaigns and these hundreds of millions of dollars that they push through and peddle every fucking year for the Super Bowl. And just walk out. As soon as they go play that old racist-ass demeaning song they love to covet so much, honey, just go ahead and just pick yourselves up and walk the fuck out. Or just don't even show up at all. Fuck them, man. You got, and if you're good with your money, you're good. You're good. Fuck them. Fuck all of them. Fuck them. I'm so serious, child. The fact that we are still in this, the fact that nobody is really truly standing up and the ones that do get cast aside like they are nothing, we need to start standing up for human motherfucking rights not just when it's important to us not just when it involves something that we are interested in this is a, an abomination i'm gonna go biblical on that ass it's an this is so not right i just don't understand it it kills my spirit when i read this the other day i just i needed time to soak this in and to try my best to effectively communicate my motherfucking feelings it's hard because I'm a mix. I'm mixed. I'm mixed of black and white, but I identify primarily with my African American side. I was raised that way. Who? That's just what I am. At I cannot tell you for the life of me how many times that I have been profiled myself. But to see that they are trying to send us back, girl. When are y'all going to realize, stop pussy popping for these white, wealthy, witch people, honey. Y'all already let a monkey run the goddamn presidency right now. Trump is a monkey in a suit. Who do you think is running that man? Other monkeys. But y'all want to call us the monkeys. No, bitch. We have individual thoughts. But as it turns out in the NFL, y'all boys need to get mad. And y'all need to walk the fuck out. You need to come up with a plan. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that shit. If it's going to cost you your soul and your dignity, that's what these white people are telling you when they came out with this policy. The fact that they even entertained to have a, a roundtable discussion about this policy. Y'all black, all you black players should have been mad and you should have walked the fuck out. Let me tell you something. You were poor before you got in that motherfucker nine times out of ten. Surviving off Raymond noodles and peanut butter jelly sandwiches, honey, okay? Let's keep it real here, bitch. You got about a million or two in the bank. You good. You're good. You're good. You're good. 
I am so pissed off right now because I just don't understand why this isn't a situation where people have stood up and burned the stadiums to the ground. I don't condone that type of violence, but I'm just saying though, like that's when shit gets done, okay? When you stand up and you remind a motherfucker that you will not be talked down to in any kind of way. This sickens my spirit as a human being to know that y'all even had conversations. You are chaining and muzzling free black men. Once again, as history repeats itself, but in a different light, because, you know, white people can't stand on top of racism like they used to. You know, now things are much different. You feel what I'm saying? We's free. So we can do what the fuck we want to do to your white ass when you get out of motherfucking pocket. And you know what? Let me not generalize the white population. There are some of y'all that are for us and you fight for us. And for that, we thank you. But at the end of the day, until you walk a mile in our shoes or any minority class's shoes at all, you will never truly understand what it is to be where we're at now in this country, unfortunately. And, you know, we need to just stand up. And black people, we got to do better, honey. We got to stand up for ourselves. We got to stand up for our neighbors. I don't give a fuck. We have to start standing up more, stop killing each other, and m- motherfucking stop peddling this bullshit theory of the, of the crab in the buckets that uh people love to talk about us in. Because I'm just going to keep it real. Yeah, I hate to, uh, hate to relate all that shit into each other and sound like another one of these little propaganda ass motherfuckers out here. But I'm just going to keep it real. Those are my thoughts. We need to stop doing each. We need to stand up, honey. These white people are out here trying to send us back. No God, no motherfucking God. I'm not going back. I don't want to experience that. I don't think our ancestors fought all of those long, hard years for us to sit here and go back. They are trying to look at the signs, people. Look at the signs. It's all the fuck I'm saying. It's clear as day. Look what they are doing. Look what they are doing. You better get it the motherfucking gather, honey. They're trying to send us back to the Stone Age. I'm telling you. They trying to send us back. I'm not going back. Bitch. So I just advise y'all to wake up and pay attention and, and look around what's going on or going around you. Don't be turned into none of them conspiracy theorists, motherfuckers, but just know racism and discrimination and motherfucking social constraints and social division is really going on in this world, bitch. Hi, why do you think the projects exist? Hello, God. Systematic regional racism, bitch. They do it. And now they targeting our NFL players. No, God. You think my cousins them was chasing bunnies in Pahokia all them damn years, <laughs> bitch, to be to go back to that? Oh no, honey. No God. Uh-uh. Get it together. And we need to stand up, honey, because our free black men are being put back in chains and muzzles. And I will continue to say that because it is the most descript way and effective way to have this conversation. That's what they are trying to do to us. And that's what they have done in the NFL. And they've put up smoke screens all around us in the media to keep our attention away from the fact that these motherfuckers are trying to reinstall um, motherfucking some kind of slavery and racism. Tell me what y'all think. I know I went a little left on this shit and I really couldn't come up with a real intellectual, you know, thought, but I think I said what the fuck I needed to say and how I needed to motherfucking say it. So for you sorry motherfuckers out there that don't like it, guess what? This wasn't for you. And if this was a video that was for you, like, share, comment, subscribe, honey, and just have the conversation. And for all the white people that's down for us, amen to you, honey. Keep fighting the good fight. But again, you'll never truly know at the end of the day okay but we do appreciate you so y'all have a blessed motherfucking day let's have the conversation these bitches are trying to send us back no god i'm not going